What is up everyone? This is Mo Gamer here and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code CE-30005-8 in 2025. So let's get right into this. So there's two ways to essentially fix this error. We're going, going to into the first step which is basically you're going to turn on your PlayStation 4, you're going to log into this screen over here, oh, let's just log in, and then we're going to go over into settings. So let's go, oh, let me turn my controller on. So we're going to go over into, let's let my controller turn on, into settings. So in here, you want to then go over into where it says storage. You want to go over into storage again, and you want to basically go over into saved data. So you're going to go to the game that's causing problems. Let's say it's Call of Duty, and you're going to find a corrupted file over here. And if it's like GTA, you could have multiple files. You're going to find a corrupted file here, and you want to press the options button and delete said corrupted file. If you don't have the corrupted file, or if you did delete it and it still doesn't work, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to completely turn off your PlayStation 4 and we're going to enter into safe mode. Based in, in that, in, in, sorry, in safe mode, we're going to basically re um, rebuild the database to make this error go away. So once this is completely turned off, you're going to see that white light once that completely goes away. I'm going to move on to the next step on what to do to basically fix this. So let it completely turn off. I'll show you how to enter safe mode. So it's almost done. Still flashing. Still flashing. Now it's done. All right. Once it's turned off, you're going to hold on to your power button until you hear two beeps. I have an old PlayStation. It doesn't make any beep at all. So you're going to let go. If, you, if yours is similar, about eight seconds or so, you're going to let go. So right about now. So you let go after about eight to ten seconds, and you'll see it's going to enter into safe mode. Boom. So you can see we're now in safe mode. You need to have a USB connected to your uh, controller to the console to be able to uh, operate in here. Analog doesn't work. It's via D-pad. So in here, you're going to do rebuild database, and you're basically going to press OK. This may take hours, or it may take minutes. It takes me minutes. It depends on how bad your database or, or console is, right? How corrupted, I guess it is. So do that. Uh, restart the console. Go back in, and you should be good to go, and you will not have that error persist any longer. So yeah, that's basically it. If you guys like the video, please smash that thumbs up. If you guys in the channel, make sure to subscribe, click that notification bell, and we're going to go. Peace.